Hello my loves. Namaste a while. Thank you for being here. If you guys are brand new, welcome to the channel. If you are existing and you've already been here a while, wow, isn't that amazing that you want to come back and try it again? That is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's find out what we have today about what this person would tell you right this second. We have the Bic Lighter, Pile 1, the red Bic Lighter. Pile 2 is the Pyrite Crystal. Broken in half, it's my favorite crystal. And then we have Pile 3, the heart silver washi tape here. All right, let's find out. Pile 1, let's start with you. Holy Spirit, I wish it channel. Clear and concise, accurate messages for Pile 1. I heard, I heard this person's fed up. They're fed up with something. I'm hearing, I just want to, guys, I heard they just want to, their whole life up in smoke. They're fed up. They're fed up. Let's find out what this is, what this is. Um, I'm hearing them say that. Let's find out what this is. Do you want to explore this? We could. I'm hearing this person is just on the verge. They are, they are just about at that, that point where they're like, we can try it. We can see what this is. Do you want to go a little bit deeper? We could try it. Let's have fun. I don't know. Let's, what, let's see. I've not looked at these yet. Let's see. Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles. Yeah. This person finally feels like they're stable enough now to offer you commitment. Oh my, you guys. I swear to everything holy. I don't look at these cards. This looks like matchsticks, doesn't it? Look, I'm here and I'm gonna, my whole life just, all right, let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know. This person's like, you know what? I'm so tired of routine. I'm so tired of the mundane. Every single day, the same shit, same shit, different day. I heard I want to tackle this. I want to tackle this. Um, I don't know if you guys have like wrestled or tackle box or fishing or something. Realization. I don't know this person. They're nervous though. They're nervous because they have to give something up, but I'm hearing prestige, prestige in something. The way they talk, people are gonna look at them a little differently because they're gonna be really romantic soon or something. Beginnings, girl, come on. Something about like, this is a new beginning. We could try it, we could try it. Like, like... I hear I hear this person say like, all their egos are bruised. All their egos are bruised. They can't stand it. They can't stand that I've changed. They've never seen your person. I don't know, friends, family, a community. They've never seen your person this ready to jump ship. I heard they're even saying really reckless, careless things. Oh, the devil, bitch, you can't make it up. Because they're like, I don't care anymore. My life is so fucking boring. Look at that. Look at that woman. She's just like, same shit, different day. They have enough. They have a lot to offer. This person's like, Pretty good. I feel like they're pretty good financially or something. With the devil, I'm getting like a lot of Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. They're like, I have a lot to offer you. We could travel, we could do fun things. What would they tell you? They would tell you like, I'm ready to let my old life go to shit. <laughs> Cause my old life was shit is what I'm hearing. Basic ups. I'm ready to try it. I'm ready to try it. Some about, some about they're a lot more romantic than they used to be. People are calling them crazy is what I'm hearing. They have friends or family that are calling them a little insane. Like with the devil game, more on that. Girl, three of swords. Cause their egos are bruised. There's other people who are like pissed that your person's getting away. They're coming towards you. Four of wands. Girl, that's motherfucking truth. They're coming towards you. People see them in, okay, whoa. I'm hearing people see your person insanely happy right now. And they're like, they're delusional. Pile one, they just went off the rocker. Like, like they need to be on medication or some shit like that. Oh my God, and I just heard those lyrics. Um, I'm not, um, I, what is, I heard, I heard it. It was like, um, I'm not crazy, I'm just in love or something. I just opened my phone and the first article on go uh, Google is a polar vortex is starting to form. <laughs> I don't know, I heard polar opposites. Like they're starting to see that they're not like their friends at all. Their friends are very mean, cruel. I heard towards you, direct fit focus towards you. I'm hearing they're hurting your heart, their heart. They're hurting their heart chakra and your heart chakra. You guys could share the same heart, you could share the same chakra system because you might be twin flames. And we do have the twin flame card there, but again, uh, labels don't matter. It really doesn't, but they feel like you guys are mirroring each other. Resistance. What would this person say? Please wait for what they say. Are they named Mario? 
Dude, my heart hurts. I'm in pain, I'm in pain. My heart, my heart, my heart. Yeah, I heard, why aren't we together? It's almost like they're coming to a sudden realization, like, wait, what the fuck? Why aren't we together? Wait, why? The masculine, girl, listen. I am literally hearing, why aren't we together? Why aren't we together? Do you see this? Do you see these two wands here? He's holding them. It's like you both are fucking hearing each other. You're both bored as shit. Both of you are bored. It's like you're both holding a space for each other. And it's like, why aren't we together? Why? Why? Why do they think so? Why do they think you're not together? Abundance. They were working on their money is what I'm getting. They wanted to be able to provide for you. Yeah. Yeah. Something about an animal in a dream. You could have had a dream recently with animals in it or um, like a dog or a fox. Something with four legs I'm getting. I heard a bear, a bear, maybe. Nourishment. Hmm. Yeah, they were just working on their finances. They were working on what they could provide for you. But now they're like, I set fire to the rain. Adele, you know, action. Yes, 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 yes. Now they're coming forward. I'm hearing, I'm gonna set fire to the rain. That's um, Adele back in the day, Adele. To the rain. Justice. They don't care how they're viewed. Yeah, look. People think this masculine's going insane. I heard berserk. They're looking at them like you're fucking crazy. That's what I keep hearing. Like you are mentally deluded. You are deluded. The moon. Like this person, this person's getting so much flack right now from friends and family. People are hearing them talk about love and shit. And all of a sudden they're like, you have lost your fucking marbles, bro. You are, you are gone. You're not even our friend anymore or something like that. Five of cups. You can't make it up. You're not our friend. They're crying over swollen milk. They're like, we lost you already. To love, to ace of cups. Uh, this poor, this poor person. They're, they're, I feel so bad for them. Your masculine is kind of getting beat up, guys. I don't think literally, physically. God, that would suck. I, I don't think that. I think it's just mentally. Mentally. Although I did go to do this, so they might even have have thrown fists at some point. Or I don't know, but I am getting a lot of like strong muscles here. Like I don't know if this person physically fights or something, but like. I heard scrapper. This man's a scrapper. I heard, how do I approach you? How do I approach you? Hmm. I heard, what are you gonna do when I offer you this? Are you gonna freak? Are you gonna be like, there's no way, there's no way. Because I'm, I'm, I heard the name Natalie, because I'm kind of getting something about like, you guys don't even believe me when I'm saying this right now. So they're like, if you come, if, if I come in, are you going to be like, nah, fuck you. I don't trust you. Eight of Pentacles. They were working on their money. That's what I'm getting. So you start, started a business, I heard. Five of Swords. They had nothing to offer you. They thought that you were more well off than, that, than they were. That, that you were the Queen of Pentacles and you've been that way. And they, they had nothing to offer you. It's like, you were gonna be able to give more than they could and they didn't like that. They didn't like that, it was embarrassing. How are they now financially, please, Spirit? Bitch, I'm, I'm so good at, I'm so good at my job. It's insane. I think that that's actually their person, your person. I'm so good at my job now, it's insane. I'm so good at handling money, it's insane. I'm so good at what I do, it's insane. The Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles, Besh. And then we have the sun right under it, mm-mm, mm-mm. Best hair reader on the planet. If you'd like a personal with me, all the information is down below. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Hello, day, Govna. Welcome to the reading. Pile two, those who chose pie right. All right, listen, your spirit team was telling me that you guys are going to be very soon encountering more and more episodes with your guides. And I'm hearing episodes. I don't know why that is, but I think it's because spirit's showing me you'll be seeing them in dreams and stuff, and it'll feel kind of like, um, like a movie or like a movie scene or like a, a dramatization is what I just heard. Like a lifetime movie. <laughs> Shut up. I heard that. Wait, 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 wait. I heard there's a reason why it's gonna be like that. It's gonna almost feel faked or staged. It is. It's, it's, it's produced. It's, um, okay, all right. So something about pile two I'm getting, you guys are very soon gonna be seeing dreams differently. They're more like astral projections. It's like, you know what it is? It's like your spirit team is kind of making this like arena for you or like a like a stage it's like a stage and then your consciousness kind of just shifts into it one day and you wake up in the dream and you're like oh my god what is this i'm hearing it's a celebration it's your party it's an event you're what the fuck i'm hearing your spirit team is putting on some sort of elaborate event in your dreams or some shit and your dreams 
oh my god, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, guys. Um, all right, just just hear me out, okay? And then I'm gonna, I'll get to the your person in a second because I know you came here for that. But sorry, spirit does this sometimes. They take over and you can't fucking stop it. <laughs> I feel like that's actually part of the message for you. Is like you're not gonna be able to stop this. I keep hearing. Mm -hmm. They're building like fun for you. They're building like a fun house for you or something and, and, and your consciousness is shifting into it. You're having lucid dreams more often soon. That's a message for sure for somebody. You're gonna be having, I heard the name George. You're gonna be having a lot more lucid uh, dreams very soon, okay? And I'm getting somebody with a mustache. Your person have a mustache or a dream. Um, I heard a dream buddy. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know guys. Um, but I'm hearing it's a celebration. It's a party. There's like, people are throwing you parties. I heard your spirit team is celebrating you in the ethers. I've never channeled this message in the history of me reading cards online for four years. I've never channeled this. 2.22 on the clock. You and a buddy. You and someone. You're so, oh my God. Stop. This is so beautiful. I've not even looked at these cards yet. I'll get to this in a second. I'm not, I'm not seeing them yet. I feel like you haven't actually met your soulmate yet. Or like you are, you're dreaming of them. Or you're kind of seeing like bits and pieces of them. Or you're hearing about them through the grapevine. But you don't get to know who they are yet fully because you're kind of being like, oh, it's like matchmaker, but in the 4D, in the astral plane. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. This is the most beautiful reading I've ever channeled ever in my life. Matchmaker. Oh my God, I literally just heard a match made in heaven. I, I shit you not. I shit you not. I just heard that. I'm getting the months March and April. Those could be important to the number 34. You could be 34 years old. This person could be born in March or you could be born in April or whatever. It could be a dog person, I heard. A dog person. A sleepwalker as well. And I'm hearing they like to sleep in this person. I'm getting um, something about waffles, like breakfast in bed. Something about like, they are... Pile two, your spirit team is matching you with the perfect person for you. A match made in literal fucking heaven. I saw 34 again. Mm-hmm. A match made in literal heaven. Knight of Wands. Look, I love it. I love it. What would this person tell you? What would they tell you right now? I feel like they, they would tell you, like, I wake up and I get this um, feeling that there's someone out there for me. Pile two is definitely for somebody that, like, you don't know who your soulmate is yet. Or, like, you're kind of, it's like you're putting p bits and pieces together. It's, you know what it is? It's as if during the day, during waking life, pile two is telling the universe, I want this in a man, and I want that in a woman, and I want this and this and this and this. And slowly but surely, it's unraveling, and you're seeing it in dreams first. So you know which coffee shop to go to, and you know which bookstore to go to, and you know what, what profession they'll have. So if you call the plumber, it's gonna be them that shows up at the door or something. Oh, it's so beautiful. Another 34, I'm seeing 34 again. Something about a plumber. Like if you guys call like a maintenance guy or plumber or something, I don't know, that might be. I heard, I heard some of you, this person might literally show up at your doorstep because why the fuck not? Because why the fuck not? I know that a lot of people are like, you know, whatever. They're limited in thinking. They're limited in magic. They don't believe that you can literally manifest a soulmate to your doorstep. With like, in your boxers, with some hairy legs, right? Eating a whole plate of brownies. You know what I mean? And they don't think that soulmates can just be hand delivered literally by the universe. Like, here you go. Knock, knock. Hi, I'm your soulmate. It's really great to meet you. People don't think like that. Pile two, you're definitely about to start thinking like that. Ira is going to get really, really wild very soon. Like your life is going to be all about love. And it's going to be all about like the weird part of love though. Like the weird magical, like dream fantasy kind of shit. I feel it's going to get even heavier for you when Pisces, wait, 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 what is it? Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. Look at Neptune right now, because I think Neptune is retrograde. I think, I think it's retrograde until... November-ish, I'm not sure guys, look it up. But when ne Neptune goes direct, that's when your life's gonna get fucking magical. Like, like shit's gonna be weird. It's gonna be real weird. It's like, you're gonna talk about unicorns and you're gonna see that shit in your dreams. That kind of weird. Like you're gonna talk about just like joking with your friend about, yeah, so wouldn't it be so cool if uh, I married Johnny Depp? How cool would that be? And then boom, you see him in your dreams or some shit. I'm telling you, shit's about to get weird when Neptune goes direct. All right, anyway, for what this person would tell you, this person doesn't talk to you in the 3D. They don't talk to you. They don't know you. Pile two, you do not know this person. Okay, go check a different pile if that's not your message. This pile, they don't know you, but they do wake up either at night or during, like in the morning, and they're like, who the fuck was that? Who was that? I heard the name Nick. Who was that? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. This person's like trying to manifest their soulmate too. You guys are literally a match made in heaven. Literally. And this is the pyrite crystal, which for me is the most magical of all crystals in my opinion. It's magical. It really is. Pyrite is just so, it's fool's gold, this one. Pyrite is fool's gold. It's not the real thing, but you will have the real thing. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like you're not having the real thing right now. You only have it in dreams. But you will have the real thing. Yeah, I heard the real McCoy. You will be able to touch, smell, taste, all of this person. Okay, you will be able to have that, all right? Um, let's get some more here. I keep hearing the name Claudette, and that is such a random name, but I'm hearing Claudette. I don't know. Pile two, Holy Spirit, pile two. What would this person say? Like, like, I see you. I see someone. Ace of Cups! I see someone. But I'm not sure who you are. They would say, like, my heart's being activated right now by some stranger in the ethers. Yeah, that's what they would say. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, that their life is changing because of love, but they can't understand who the fuck it is. They don't know. The name Tara? Um, or Roy, I keep hearing Roy or McElroy or McAvoy or something like that. Um, but listen, I'm getting something about, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the clouds, you see, you see that? They're in the clouds. These two together are in the clouds together. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. No, I can't. I literally cannot with these. I, you guys, my heart is about to stop. Like I, pile one was already very loving, very, very loving. And, but this is giving rapture vibes. You two together up in heaven in the Lord. Y'all in the Lord together. If you're looking for somebody godly, this person probably is godly. I don't know. The lovers, look at that, honey. Look at that. Look at you two sitting in the tree. But really, the tree is the 4D. You're in the astral plane together, you and this person. And your spirit team is making you a humble abode. You're, you guys are like creating like a fucking masterpiece. Oh, it's heaven on earth. It's heaven on earth, okay? This person could be into poetry. They could be a writer. They could be a musician. Oh, all right. What's that? Two of cups. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally so good. I'm literally so good at my job. First comes marriage. Wait, no, I said that. Is that it? First, and then comes baby and the baby. I don't know what I'm saying. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, some, some, they want to build a life with you, but they don't know who you are. They don't know who you are. Let's get advice on that. They don't know who you are yet. I heard just keep going. Set the intentions before dreamland. Set the intentions before bed that you will meet that person again. You'll get to know more about them. I'm hearing, oh, okay, all right, Spirit, thank you. I'm hearing to use magic with this. I'm hearing that you should be writing before bed on a piece of paper questions that you want to ask this person. So I think you're real. So what do you do for a living? Or let me see your hands. Are you a hard worker? Like, are you, um, um, I'm getting probably, yeah, probably. Yeah. But I'm saying like, look at their, their body. Like th is there, is their hands full of dirt because they're like a gardener or they work outside or something about like, get your subconscious mind programmed and ready to start getting these questions answered in dreams is what I'm getting for pile two. Write it in a notebook paper, rip it out, put it under your pillow for three days. All right. I'm telling you. The moon, bitch. I can't. I literally can't. I cannot. Honey, the four of wands is celebration. Twin flame card as well, whatever, whatever, whatever. The moon, during your slumber, honey, during your slumber, you will find out more about who this person is. I am I'm so good at my job. It should be a crime, but it's not because I work for the Lord. This person is like your person, but you don't even know it yet. You don't even know it and you don't, you don't, you can't see a face or you can't, you can see their eyeballs. I'm hearing some of you might see their eyes. The color of their eyes? The color of their eyes might change, I'm hearing. So like, if you see their eyes in dreams, it like, especially if they're blue, look, and that's happened to me before. I've seen my twin flame with blue eyes, and then in real life, he doesn't have blue eyes, so. Well, I mean, one version of him did. Whatever, my story is different than a lot of people. My twin flame actually died in prison and reincarnated. Well, you can't call it reincarnation. You can call it a soul walk-in, but we're not going there because it's not Neptune direct. People aren't ready for crazy yet. <laughs> My twin flame story is a lot different than most people. Um, souls don't die, right? So whatever, not going there. If I could talk about it with anybody, it would definitely be piled too because I feel like you guys get it. But uh, we'll save that for a book one day, whatever. 
We'll save that for Twin Flame Union, and we'll save that for when we change the world with our love. Just like you will, 1212. If you guys are Pisces especially, like this is a message for Pisces, Gemini, I'm definitely getting Pisces. Watch out for uh, Neptune going direct because when that happens, it's like la la land all the time for you too. There's such an element of magic and mysticism and, and um, the unknown and dreamy, dreamy state with this one that you can't really pinpoint what they would say to you because you don't know them in real life yet. All right. Knight of Cups, bitch. I literally just heard. If somebody meets a water sign, maybe a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or your Cancer Pisces Scorpio, at, at, at your door, it's to have, I'm telling you, somebody might even be manifesting somebody literally at their door or opening a door for you, holding a door for you at the, at the store or something. It's like, hello, wake the fuck up. It's them. Knight of Cups. You guys are manifesting your perfect person and spirit is doing this. During sleep is what I'm getting. I definitely Scorpio as well. During sleep. I'm not taking this nine of swords to be normal nine of swords. I'm hearing when you hit the pillow, when your head hits the pillow, death. Your soul keeps going on. Your consciousness shifts. Your consciousness doesn't die. And it is literally getting bits and pieces of what this person's face looks like, what their eyes look like, what their hair is like. It's like slow. It's, it's like build a man workshop. It's like build a man. Your spirit team wants to help you build a man. Okay, okay. It's the perfect man for you or a woman. Oh my God, they're so perfect. They're so fucking perfect. I'm hearing Italian. Somebody could be manifesting somebody who's Italian. That's what I'm hearing. Or they talk with their hands a lot like this. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cute. All right, guys, I love you. Wear, wear a crystal to bed or put some pyrite maybe under your pillow. And again, write that letter. Write a questionnaire. Yes, that you want to know because it's like you're going to prime your subconscious mind to start actually filling in the gaps so that you can meet this person. Oh my God, it's magical. This is, I love this one. I loved all of them so far. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. -bye. Hello, final three. Those you chose the silver washi tape with the little heart. I almost said heart emojis. You and your person could talk via a lot of emojis or, um, um, yeah, like I'm getting hearts and stars and things like that or this person could write like a lot of emojis or you could you could talk in emoji you could talk in meme is what i'm hearing in memes but i did hear mime you could talk in mime you and this person might be very telepathic what i'm getting is what they would tell you would have to be tele telepathy right now there's something blocking you too i'm hearing the name like b a or b o the name barney or the name bobby or bernie or i don't know i'm getting a b name here for somebody bernard there's somebody like blocking you too? I'm hearing that you guys are speaking telepathically, you two little cutie patooties. What would they tell you? I heard whatever I say, it has to be hush hush, so please don't talk about it. I don't know what that's about. I heard that really loud. I heard Lilith. They might really enjoy your Lilith energy, which is like more of the dark feminine, right? Um, it's like they're not allowed to like that or something. I don't know. This person's really conflicted right now. 111 on the clock. All right, they're a little conflicted with, with some things. Um, you could have just bought groceries today or they did or they want to buy your groceries or something because i just saw literally people walking into a house with groceries so okay um there is something blocking you two. Oh shit and whatever it is it's like toxic as fuck and this person knows it's, knows it's really bad really really bad okay i'm hearing i don't even want to look at it i don't even want to look at this person i don't even want to talk to this person i'm hearing your person say like they're wondering if they are strong enough to stand up for you or stand up to this situation, whatever it is. They're like, really? I, I think they're gonna be very strong soon. I'm hearing it was never my strong suit to stand up to bullies, but I, I kind of want to. I haven't looked at these yet, guys. I, I, I just like channeling messages first before I even see what they are, okay? Um, again, there's something about like telepathic communication with this pile. Yeah, you two just, it's unwritten. It's unspoken and it's unwritten. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I heard you two are like, oh my God. I heard mopping the floor with people. You're too, to, okay, together, you two with telepathy. It's like, you're, you're like leagues above, okay. Not like in a bad way, like a superficial superiority kind of way, but like you guys are leagues above everybody else. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Not like better than, but you know, like better than. I'm sorry, not really, not really better than, just like, just better, just better than other people in that situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. They definitely have this level of like mm, superiority in a way. I think this person even could be a superior. Okay. Um, but I'm hearing keep it hush hush. Please don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody something. They're, they want to tell you something, but they want to make sure it'll stay a secret between you two. Can it? Can it remain a secret? Yeah, I'm hearing. Yes, yes. Um, I'm hearing veiled. They, they, 
want to tell you something and they want it hidden. They want it to stay veiled. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, they think that, I heard the name Shelly or Michelle. They think that you guys need to keep it hush hush right now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. I heard, I heard that there's a lot of momentum getting built up in this connection. Like pretty soon somebody's going to just burst out loud and say like, fuck you to whoever this third party is or whatever that is, that situation. I heard conglomerate. It could even be that you two are together at work and like there's somebody at work that's hovering over you two or something. This person's about to just say like, go fuck yourself. Really? Go royally. Go royally right on, you know? I heard, I'm hearing so many things. This person has a heart chakra blockage though. I'm hearing dime a dozen. They're a dime, that person's a dime a dozen and you're not, and I know that. Um, something about the heart chakra, they have like a, oof, it's bad, it's bad, it's a heart. This person's being attacked in the heart space, so try to send them loving energy if you can, or, or a shield, like envision a shield of bubble protection around their heart. Whoever this third party is, they are going after their heart space, okay? They're saying shit to them that is cold, calloused, full of malice, full of malice on purpose. Why is that? Why are they saying that? I heard they're, th they're threatened. Did I not say your Lilith energy? There's the darkness card. Bitch, listen to me right now. Your Lilith energy, which is like a whole thing. There's like this, this, just, it's like a dark feminine energy, right? Like this uh, mysterious, like mother of demons kind of thing, right? Well, this person that loves you really digs it. I'm getting with darkness, like, they've accepted their shadow and they accept yours. It's something like the person that's this third party cannot accept that you two together are like, mm, kind of dark, but not, not in a bad way that's like evil or anything. Just like you have fun with everything, with the light and the dark. You guys are very much balanced, both of you. So th whoever this third party is, is terrified of the darkness of their own. I'm hearing the demons within. They don't even look at the demons within themselves. So they don't want to look at the demons outside of themselves either. This person's getting really, really pissed. Your, your person's getting really good. Both, both. There's a third party that's angry and your person, okay? I feel like it's more on their end. It's not somebody that you know or that you deal with. You might know them, know of them, but you're not dealing with them. And I, I just heard what your person would tell you right now is like, I want to deal with them. So if I come to you, can you keep it our little secret until I deal with them? Yeah, I'm hearing, I want to deal with it. I want to deal with it. I need to do it. But it needs to happen when I have a heart chakra opening and I need to come to you for that. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here with the heart chakra. They have a very, very close heart chakra because this person keeps attacking them for being different. Like, yeah. Yeah, I just keep hearing things like demons and mother of demons, father of demons, something like that. Like this person's getting called like, like, I don't know, just a bunch of bullshit. And I'm hearing... I'm hearing, oh, okay, there's, there it is. It, it would be one thing if it was just this person saying it, but I'm hearing that they're gossiping and a lot of people are hearing it through the grapevine that you and your person together are like demons or demonic or Satanists or something. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Because you both owned your shadow. Yeah, I do feel like this person's chakras are kind of misaligned because I'm getting a lot of headaches right now too, a pressure in my third eye. Um, they're starting to see very clearly that somebody's uh, 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 third eye is, is calcified. It, it, it's like they don't see shit. They can't see shit. They can't even see their own demons. They can't see how evil they are. I'm hearing the irony, the irony. What your person would tell you is the irony, huh? This person's saying I'm evil when really I can see that they're evil. How, how sad, huh? How sad. Christmas could be important. They could be born around Christmas or you could, or you guys are gonna meet up at Christmas or that could be their favorite holiday. I don't know. That, that train? What is going on? What is going on? Darkness, darkness. Dude, some, something's up. I heard, hmm. What, 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 what is going on? Um, this person loves your darkness, they love it. I'm hearing, please don't ever think you're too much. You're never too much, it's gorgeous. You've accepted who you are, you love your demons, which means you love everybody unconditionally. If you love your demons, then you're gonna love everybody else's. They're like, please don't think that these people saying you're evil, it's true, that's not true. It's not true and I fucking know it. I know it, that's what they would tell you. I know it. Hmm, but there is something here about, I'm hearing rest for the wicked, rest for the wicked. They, they, they think that um, 
The masculine, whoa, purity, look. Okay, look, 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 you have darkness and purity. Your divine counterpart is thinking like, wow, you actually have both darkness and light and I love it. I love it both. I love both of it, both of them. Well, maybe that's a sign. That, that, that could be a message. Your person loves both of you. The person that's hurting them and you. So it's kind of like a battle right now. Yeah, this masculine is kind of stuck in the middle right here. So that's a yes, excuse me. Stuck in the middle with you. And I'm getting a throat chakra blockage now too. Like something's stuck in their throat chakra. It's like they can't tell this person off yet. What's gonna need to happen here? They need to tell this person off and you know it. It's like, you can feel it, you can see it, you can hear it, you can, it's just like, hello, speak. Hello, speak something. Think of Jesus, just say something. Stuck in the middle with you. It's like there's protection. They don't feel safe yet. 42, 24, you guys are marrying each other right now. It's like you feel safe, but they don't feel safe. They don't feel safe to tell this person just yet. Stuck in the middle. What would they say? Patience, please have patience with me. I, I look, look, the card will here. I will, I will do it, I promise. Be patient, I will do it. I swear to you, I will do it. But I'm just trying to like, you know what it is? It's that they think their heart, wait, wait. It's, their heart chakra really is blocked, but, but the heart chakra emits its own frequency. I don't know if you knew that, um, but when it's healed, your heart chakra has its own electromagnetic frequency, which is energetically what actually protects you. So with a heart chakra opening, you're not gonna be able to take on slinging arrows from people and, and your person doesn't know that yet. It's like they need your guidance as to why they are protected because they don't believe it yet. All right, let's get the two cards you actually chose in the beginning. Judgment, mm -hmm, seven of cups, yep, yep. I'm here and I will make a judgment call, but right now I'm just kind of analyzing, studying my moves, like studying, uh, I'm hearing chess pieces, like, like should I move that one or should I move the knight? Should I move the king? Should I, I don't know, bishop, what should I do? Should, bishop? That could be a last name, but I'm also getting bishop that's in this person, like listens to a, a, men, a mentor. This person might have a mentor and it might be this person. The one that's like, yeah, I heard, I heard they're disappointed in me. They're so disappointed in me. The unexpected, because I just changed unexpectedly to now talking about demons and shit like that. Yes, yes. The more, the more, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, I get it. With the bat here and this snake, I talk about bats or I talk about snakes. I talk about like the serpent. I don't know. It's like, it's like mm, this person has gone from like only love and light to just like, no, there's more than that. And honestly, love and light can suck it. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, guys. As much as we all love love and light, unicorns and sugar cookies, this person's like, there's more to life. You're not supposed to just be all day long there's no fun there there's no fun there so pile three your person's like i want to have fun and i want to do what i want to do and i dare you to fucking tell me otherwise so this mentor whoever it is i heard bishop this could be like a pastor or a preacher or, or like a, a father figure in some way they're like they're judging and analyzing your person right now and being like yeah we don't like this change in you yeah balance power the void oh shit what's this it's a Oh, guys, 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 I'm getting the dark feminine. It's given Lilith. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's a shift in power dynamic now. This bishop is afraid that there's going to be like a, a usurp. Is that the word? I don't know, guys. What's it called? A, a coup. A staged a coup. This power person in your person's life thinks that you're going to come in and like disrupt the balance, the flow of things. Oh, shit. And you might too. You might. I heard good. Good, I think your person wants that. Good, I want it, I want that. I just, uh, did I post that song? I can't remember if I posted it. I just heard this song for the first time yesterday. It was called um, Steal the Show. Yes, Steal the Show by Love. L-A-U-F, L-A-U-V. <laughs> Steal the Show. You guys should, you should look at that. Yes, yes. Cause look, this almost looks like a stage and I'm getting like the lights, camera action here. I'm hearing this masculine wants to give you the center stage. Cause they're really into the shadow that you've got going on here, honey. Cause you're not all love and light all the time. That shit's boring as fuck. Nobody likes it. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. I literally don't care. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody thinks. I know the fucking truth. I know the fucking truth. They're like, I know how to handle my demons. 
and I see that you know how to handle yours. So why don't you and I have a little fun? But I'm hearing them say like, please trust that I will stick up for you. Please trust that I will say this. I will say this. I heard divine counterpart. They think that you are divine counterparts, all right? Yeah, that you marry each other, 2442 here. The hermit, the magician. Damn, you guys are something else. Jesus, God, you guys are the hangman. You guys are so enlightened. This person's sometimes a little spooked by you. Like, what do you know? What do you know? We got the devil here because they know that you know how to slay demons or some shit. Magician, the hermit. They kind of want to be alone with you. I, I was already getting that, pile three. Like, what they would say is, I want to be alone with you when I tell you this stuff. I think it's that they, they believe in magic. They believe in witchcraft. They believe in, like, the occult. They believe in, you know, whatever, guys. What else? You don't like that tough shit? Unsubscribe. Just click the little X notification right up there and never see my face again. Okay? You don't like witchcraft? Okay, bye. Ask if I give a shit. 15, 15 on the clock. I actually feel 15 in tarot is the devil number, right? Devil. It's almost like you two, 15, 15, devil, devil. You're both like, it's cool. I, I like myself. I love myself. I love my flaws. I love how I'm a little bitchy sometimes. I love how I'm not a little bitchy sometimes. I love that I'm light and I love that I'm dark. I just, I just love me. So your person really wants to be alone with you. I told you in the beginning, can you keep it hush hush? Can you keep it a secret right now? Can we kind of keep this like our little secret? Cause there is something about, they, 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 they need to heal. They need to heal. They need to get stronger energetically and psychically first before they can like lay it on thick with this person, whoever it is. They really need to call out some demons. <gasps> the devil, bitch. Come on. Uh, you can't make it up. I mean, you could, but why would you want to? They want to learn more about this. I heard, man, this one's deep. This one's deep. With the temp, girl, with the fucking ace of swords. This one's deep. I keep hearing. I want to hear about <laughs> no, this is gonna make me lose a lot. I wanna hear about Satan. I wanna hear about your Satan. That's what I just heard. Some of you are not gonna like that message because you've been hearing me be all about love and light and Jesus and namaste, but honey, Jesus can cast out demons. I mean, both can be true. You can know that you are the shit and that you can cast out demons anytime. Jesus said we could do what he could do, we could do it better. I mean, come on. There's something about this person loves that you're the devil and you're the angel with temperance. Girl, come on, go. You're the earth angel, but you're also like, ooh, honey, I heard ruler of demons or some shit. I heard like, ooh, yeah, no, uh, you know how to lay them out. And your person's trying to get more instruction from you first before they start laying it out. Okay. I heard I'm gonna take a stance. I'm gonna take a stance. Something about this silver screen. I'm getting like you two might be like in the public eye or something. Hmm. Angel of balance. You can't make it up with the sun. I heard you're the, you're the light and you're the dark. You're the sun and you're the devil. And I love that balance. Girl, I can't even with this reading. You're going to be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo. And again, the heart chakra here is needing a little work. Okay, they need a little work. The guy downstairs is... is um. Yeah, he's um he's um working on something right now and it's like it's a work in progress you guys need to heal this person's heart chakra um together a cumulative effort i heard don't just do this shit for free like you make this person come in and deserve it okay you make them earn that <laughs> mm -hmm. earn earn the time earn the space in your life earn it earn it they deserve it but but let them prove that they do you know what i'm saying okay all right any other message <sighs> guys literally in every pile i said repeatedly i'm the world's best tarot reader it's like if you if you don't get that there's nothing wrong with you okay six of wands i feel like you guys are me the public eye doing something really bold very soon and they need you for this they need you for that because they love your balance light and dark honey i love it page of swords people are gonna be like watching you too i heard dance da dance maybe i don't know you guys could be dancers but i'm getting like dance dance together like float together you two together i'm really getting um infinity vibes here. I'm getting like past life soulmate. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. The moon, seven of swords. They want to keep things hush hush right now. A little bit sneaky. Okay. I'm hearing, I heard them say like, if you can promise me that, I think you'd be surprised how much more I'm willing to give. I think you need to just, yeah, two of wands. They want to give to you more. Father of cops. But they need it. Hush hush, bitch. There it is. I'm going to leave it here, guys. They need it a little hush hush right now because they just don't feel safe like you do, all right? 
they don't feel safe yet in expressing who they are. They see who they are and they see who you are and they love it, but they don't feel safe in expressing it yet. So there's something about if you can just kind of take take what I have to give, but do it silently. Can we make this like a silent thing right now? Like uh, a forbidden fruit kind of thing. Pun unintended. S serpent. All right, look, pun unintended. They are wondering if you can see their devilish ways and love it too. You see yours and you love it. Can you love mine too? And can we do it behind closed doors right now? Something about this feels really kind of sexy. I don't know. They, they, they are thinking like, this could be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, I heard we could like, we could go, yeah. But some of you don't want to be kept a secret. You know, but some of you are like, that sounds fucking fun. I don't know. It's kind of like a, it's like a thing. It's like a thing. You guys are, that's what I'm hearing. You guys are going to dance together. Like, like, oh yes. People won't even know. Yes. I heard Vanessa, I'm hearing clairvoyant. This person's clairvoyant and they're starting to think that you are too, or they're starting to think you guys are both clairvoyant. Open-minded, you're both open, you're both so open-minded. You shouldn't be in a closed off setting. You shouldn't be in a closed off setting is what my spirit team is telling me. So, so, so don't let this person play you forever. Like don't let this person be like, oh, well, let's just keep it hush hush for what, the next 50 years? I don't think so. Go fuck yourself, father of wands. The serpent, come on, no. You guys are gonna be telling the world who you are together. All right, there it is, six of swords. Don't let them, no, no. They can pull their head out of their ass and they can be serious about you. And they're gonna make a commitment. They are going to do it. It's just like, they need healing first, the higher fine. Cause there's somebody, a mentor or somebody who's like, I heard body snatchers. I think that's a movie. I think that's a movie. I've never seen it, but I heard body snatchers. Something about like, what? I don't know, guys, but I heard that. They think that there's a higher font wannabe. This is not a real true leader and they know it. The fool, I'm hearing this person's foolish. Foolish, could be an Aries or an Aquarius. They think they're foolish. What do you wanna say, what do you wanna say? I see it, I see it. Please know I see it. We have the, um, the, um, the, um, the pineal gland here, four of, four of swords. Uh-huh, yeah, evil eye. They, they wanna tell you, like, I think this person's sending me evil eye. I think I believe in evil eye now. I think I believe in magic now. I think I believe in a whole bunch of shit. I think I believe in a whole bunch of shit. What? Six of Pentacles, and I'll give to you, but can we do it quietly? Like, I'll tell you about it, but can we do it quietly? And again, I'm hearing telepathy. Like, you might get a lot of telepathy very soon. Six of Pentacles, I'm getting the third eye here. Six Chakra, Six of Swords, the High Priestess. Can we do this silently? If you wanna do it silently with me, let's do it. Until I feel safer, until I feel safe, yeah. Nine of Wands, the tower, because they feel like right now, if they go to tell somebody like they're in love with you, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, like if they want to start something with you, Six of Cups, they think that this person would end it for you guys before you could even take off. So they want you to silently contribute to each other. That's what they would say to you. Beautiful, beautiful. And they would say, you are beautiful. Let's get one last card. This was my favorite reading because I just, I just love it. I just love it. Let's get, let's get one last card here. I heard, I love you. They haven't said that yet. I feel like you guys don't know that that person, this person would say that. I have given up on this right now. Scared to fe confess feelings. Yes. I hear you so loudly. I hear you so loudly saying, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. But they're not. They're not ready to come out with this publicly. I've given up on this right now because I'm scared to confess feelings. But if we can do it privately for a while, my guides are like, just for a while, honey. Pile three. Don't let this person play you. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare keep this private for long. Apps affecting lutely not. This person's got another thing coming if they think they're gonna hide you from the world, okay? People are jealous, but this is what they're saying. But people are jealous though. People are, people are jealous that I have a guilty pleasure and they're gonna try to take it. That's your person's fear. Your person's fear because of a closed heart chakra is that they don't know that they are love. They don't know that they can be loved. They don't know that they are the creator of their own reality. This person doesn't know yet that if they have a guilty pleasure, which is you, that the people that are jealous and sending evil eye can take them from you and take you from them. They just don't understand yet. They just don't understand that it, it can't happen. It can't happen. You guys create it. Look at this. I'm trying to manifest you. I love you. Did I not say that? Did I not say that? Pretty sure I fucking did. Here's the thing. We have I love you and I'm trying to manifest you. I just literally said it. They don't know yet that they're manifesting permanency with you. So they keep thinking that they have to keep a hush hush because you guys aren't going to make it. You'll like, somebody will just fart the wrong way and then boom, the whole thing will come crashing down. They don't understand the permanency of this. I heard, heard the name Deborah or something, Debbie. Um, I, I did hear, uh, they understand the authenticity of it. They are understanding that it's the real deal. 
Yeah, that it is real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I keep hearing the word witch. So I'm, I'm something about like this person thinks they're a witch or something. Shit. I don't know. They think you are. Um, they just want to like, what would they say to you now? They would say, can we please do this quietly? I'm hearing like that you want to take you to, like a hotel or something. Guys, what I'm hearing is like some of you, some of you are just too divine for that. And I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be fun. But, but my guides are telling you guys, like, don't let this person get away with that for very long, right? Put your foot down eventually and be like, nah, you make a fucking decision. Like, make a decision. Okay. Make a decision. Because we're not playing this game. But I told you. I said it. I love you. I told you. They want to say that shit. They want to say. I heard they want to bathe you and I love you. So. Okay. And we have humor here. They love your humor. They love everything about you, bro. I heard that they really like that you are not afraid to be aggressive. Service. They actually feel like you defend like the little guy. Like you're protecting people. And they know it. And they love it. This person loves you though. They're just trying to make sure that they're safe when they announce to the world that you guys are a thing. Because for whatever reason, they don't feel safe yet. And I feel like it's because they don't know as much as you yet psychically. But they are waking up. Mm -hmm. Man. They... Oh shit. Some of you... Okay, I'm not even gonna go there because if I even, if I, some of you, uh, some of you, if you, oh, shit. some of you, if you feel like you even for two seconds think about them sexually, it won't stop. I'm hearing you, 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 you both are trying not to even go there because it won't stop. It will just be like an all day thing and it'll take over. And it's like, I feel you want commitment. They do too, but they're choosing fear right now about why they can't come in. So if I'm feeling like pile three, if you guys can reassure this person that you guys can do this behind closed doors for a while. Actually, I feel like pile three, my spirit team is telling me that there's something very healing in it for you too. Because you have this newfound Lilith energy, like you're very much in your, your shadow feminine, right? Your darker aspects, right? Something about this will feel liberating for you too. So it's their higher self saying, let's do this. Let's try it behind closed doors for a while because it's going to heal you. And it's like a, a part of you that felt you needed to hide. You're going to have that safe space in them to hide for a little while. But then when you finally do come out and both of you are going to, I'm telling you that the fucking vibes are real for this one. Okay, you both are going to announce to the world, like we're in love. Like there it is. Pleasure. Like guilty pleasure. Like, like, hello, here it is. We're together. Um, you will. And when you do, your Lilith is going to feel free. It's like right now there's healing taking place for both of you in the shadow. And then boom, one day you're just going to, the whole world, the whole world will know. All right, I'm telling you, but it's like right now you got to be a little bit quiet. Six of pentacles. And I do keep hearing that they will give you a lot. They will give you wish fulfillment in the shadow right now, in the quiet, in the solitude, in the, some of you telepathically, others in the physical, they will do this in the physical, but they need you to guarantee that you won't like, you know, mm. yeah, that you won't say much right now. If you can re if you can reassure them of that. They're gonna walk with you hand in hand. Like they'll do this, they'll do this with you. Judgment, yeah, yeah. They're just trying to avoid somebody causing catastrophe in their life, the tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, I'm not getting that this is a message for somebody already in a partnership. I'm feeling like these are two single people. I need you both to know that. So don't fucking judge me as a reader being like, oh, she's promoting cheating. No, the fuck I'm not. And there has not been one instance in this reading until right now, as my guides are telling me that a viewer thinks I'm in encouraging cheating. This is not for two people in a relationship. These are for two single people who are about to be in full twin flame union or soulmate union, whatever. So take that projection and just shove it right on up there because I don't give a shit, okay? I don't promote cheating. I think it's ignorant to do and I think it's always bad and I think it's gonna always hurt somebody, so don't fucking do it. But I just heard th one of my viewers is like, wow, so she's promoting. If you're in a relationship, honey, or this person's in a relationship, this is definitely not your reading, definitely not. Definitely not. So you take that projection and you just shove it right on up there because it's not my problem. That's your problem that you thought that, okay? That's what your person is about to tell somebody. It's your problem that you don't like their shadow. It's your problem. Not mine. They're gonna, there it is. There, mother of God. There it is. This person about to lay it out. The emperor, the hermit, and the Hierophant. They're about to tell that fake ass mentor of theirs, whoever this is, that you have the key to their heart. There it is, that's what I heard. And that in the shadow, in the hermit, in you two healing together silently right now, this person's bossing up. And the way I just said, I called out whoever it was that has a problem with me in this reading, you can royally just go, you know what I mean? Like just, that's what you can do. 
And that's about what pile three, your person's about to do that, okay? But they need a little bit of quality, quality time and silence with you. Away from the mess, away from the chaos, away from other people, away from the crowd, okay? Yeah. I, pile three, your guys are telling me, if you can just tell this person, judgment, like that you will keep it to the grave and you won't tell anybody, you can finally start with the healing process with this person. And it's going to start right away. Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords. You guys will be, yeah, you'll be healing each other. Five of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. You guys are going to get to calmer waters. Eventually, this person will be announcing to the world that you guys are in a commitment. But they need a little bit of downtime first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Judgment, again, I'm really getting... Five of Pentacles. They want to come out of the cold. They don't want to be this apart, uh, apart from you, this distant from you. But... But I am getting, they need your promise that you'll keep it hush hush. Yeah. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. The lovers. They have so many feelings. It's insane. It won't, it won't last. I mean, the relationship will last. What won't last is the, uh, the silence, the, the hiding you, the hiding you. But I am hearing something about like, they love, did I have that freckle there all my life? I fucking don't remember a freckle there. They want to get to know you. I'm getting like, they want to know who you are. Uh-huh. From head to toe, I heard. Yeah. I, did I always have that there? That's a freckle. <laughs> I swear to everything I didn't have that 20 minutes ago. Did I? This person is so into you, okay? I'm so into you. I can barely breathe. Who sings that, guys? I don't know. Um, yeah, it won't, what I'm saying won't last is the hiding you away. That won't last. It's just like maybe a couple weeks, a couple months. I don't know. I don't know. I would not let this person get away with that. All right. Be like, bro, make your fucking decision. Like, you either you either in or you're not. Okay? You figure that shit out. But yeah, they're going to figure it out. And they're going to figure it out with you. Because this is your person. This is your person, 100%. They love your shadow. Like, that is the coolest thing about you. Is that you really, you enjoy just being you. All of you. Flaws and all, honey. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.